Welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back to J and Tay movie review. Today we're reviewing Seriously Single. It's an it is- production by the yes. Rapakela siblings. It's directed by Katleho and Ritabile. It yes. is starring Dinewo Mudao and oh, Dumi Murage. Dumi Murage. Sorry, I forgot the dude's name. Um, so uh, Dumi Murage. Dumi Murage. Bo- Bohan. Bohan. Weko. Yonder <laughs> Thomas. Yonder Thomas, Mr. Mr. Class Act. <laughs> you were talking about him looking like yes. he's had a job. Yes. He looks like a like mm, he looks like a man. Like he looks yes, nice. then he still look good, but now he's like mm, the beard the thing. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the what flavor yeah. Like, mm. yeah. <laughs> that's, what a, that's what a growing up glow up will do for you, man. Yeah. The movie is 147 minutes long. On IMDb, it says that Dinewa is a is the definition of serial monogamous. She dares to fall in love, she falls in love to be married and she never gets married instead always gets dumped on netflix they say while her free living bestie urges her to embrace singlehood a commitment craving social media expert who's dinero can't stop following the life of her former lerba so basically she's a stalker she's a little crazy. she does have tendencies she has <laughs> tendencies your favorite character in the movie? Controversial. <laughs> I like the film. Like it's not that I didn't like the film. I like the film, but I do do not have a favorite character. I'm gonna hate saying this, but it felt a little bit like uh, there were tryhards. All of them. I, I hate saying it, but it's like mm. all of them, including hot bartender guy. He was no. a tryhard. He was the no. most relatable not guy, Mr. I think. Can I do my babe? Please. <laughs> the delivery guy for me in this movie is the consistent thread of the craziness <laughs> is Dinewa's character because every time he shows up at her workplace, I'm just like, it's going down. <laughs> but also, does this delivery company only have one delivery guy? <laughs> <laughs> that guy is the one. He must be the main character for the next movie. He must he must just make a movie of him delivering shit. Like <laughs> so <it's> fun. <laughs> He's like, you know, Mudao, you know more. Give <laughs> Anyone else? I know that's it. That's um that's... <laughs> how are we different? What was yay? What was a yay for you? A yay yay for me. It is a great popcorn flick. Watch with your friends with wine. Preferably vodka, you'd like to black out at the end, it would be nice. But <laughs> but also Shem, the like the interactions with the with the actors, like you can see they were having fun. Like you can see they were just it felt like there was a lot of ad libbing in the script, which made that's them good. even more that's good for me. Yeah, that's good. They were free yes, like there's to me and Fulu, their chemistry together are. Uh, on point like they really they looked like they were having the most amount of fun together and i liked that i liked so many things <laughs> okay trivial things quickly um bar scene after i don't want to give the movie away but bar scene when she's crying let me so obviously you'll know why but bar scene when she's crying that one. it's just like yeah so she's like <laughs> and this hell, and and then he will break up with me because sex with him was just because he thick was just he was thick. It was just <laughs> I was oh, like, girl. Um, I have a famous thing um was <laughs> Bohan's character. Oh, what's his name? Luna. Uh the 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 dude with the Chinese eyes. Mm. Cause he is literally the female, the male version of De Niro. He is In- just as needy, just as scared to be alone. He is, I think, person terrible at relationships, just like De Niro. And, you know, it's nice to see them portray a male person in that way because they're always, these movies, these Christmas movies, these rom-coms, they always make it seem like we as females are so desperate for relationships and yes. we feel incomplete with them. And Dumi's character is that the, the one who shows that, no, nah, I'm good, you know. I'm good. So it was nice. To- and it's basically, 
No, I'm good. Sell it. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Didn't you like? The transitions, I think they felt a bubble gum. That's the nice, that's, that's, that's the word. Yes, that's the word. They felt bubble gum. Like it was a very personal thing that I didn't yeah. like the Instagram likes, hearts. Yes, it's just. Hashtag uh, buddy. Hashtag I don't need no man. Hashtag love lives here. Yeah, that's but, so I didn't mind them. I didn't mind them. I thought they worked for the movie. What else didn't I like? There's, there's times where I feel like the acting is a tad bit over dramatic, just, just, just a bit. But I do not blame the actors. I think it was the direction of the film. You think so? Like in the grand, it's like um, bad hair. You know, people are hating that movie, saying that oh, it's so over the top. It's so. Over the... But then when you look at it in context of what the direction was, it's like it makes sense. And your your dislikes. Um, what's, what's mom Connie's surname? Do not embarrass me in front of the people that I do not know the surname of a legend. Please. I know, I know. Anyway, so let's just call her Dineo's mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Dineo's mom comes to visit the two ladies at the apartment, which she calls a commune, and this is just so they're living together. I didn't like that whole pressure. Oh, well, I, I like the fact that they did that to reflect the reality that as not black kids, just as people my age, Women. we all have this pressure from our parents and grandparents to, to define your life, especially as a female, to have reached mm. some sort of pinnacle of success or happiness when you have a child and, and married or whatever. And it's, it's ridiculous because there's so many other things that can make you happy and fulfilled. Yeah. Cause she, she does this. She's like, yo, um, don't buy an apartment. You'll never get a man if you have your own things. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> yay, this is mine. Yeah. Favorite scene? Um, like I loved almost every scene with Mr. Thomas in it, honestly. Objective much? <laughs> <laughs> there was a scene where um, him and Dumi, I'll just call him, I'll just call it Dumi because it is what it is. They are, he wants her to sing karaoke with him. And she says no. And I thought it was going to be one of those movie things where eventually. He gets on that stage. stage. And but she didn't. I was like. Didn't. Okay. And that was true to her character. I fucks with it. I, yes, I fucks with it. I like that. Favorite scene. Um, my favorite scene was the opening scene of the movie. Basically, both first and second scene, how they introduced Daniela's character. She's in the car. She's not focused because she's texting, of course, gets to the office, and then my delivery guy does his magic. <laughs> and then cut to later that night, to me trekking on the bar. Like, though, the, even the way, um, the way Daniela was dressed really just gives away her whole character. You already know who she is, what she likes, what she's like. Do me twerking on the bar. You already know who she is, which friend she is, what she likes and what she's like. So it's very, very clear. How did you feel first time you watched it? Did you? Loved it? it. Like my first visceral reaction after I watched the film was, I love it. I love it. Did you laugh a couple of places throughout the movie? Not oh, yes. At all? Oh, yes. Because I just, do me more again, Jay, she's fun. Like, do me has to look at you and I'm laughing because it's just, she's funny. She just, she exudes the fun. <laughs> the whole first watch, I was like, this is such a fun movie. And it really was the way I felt about Girls Trip. Like, we took the whole gang out. We went to the movies. We even sat on the floor, made a mess. This is one of those, those, those chill with your girls and, like, laugh it out. And then pause and then call one of your friends to be like, this is you. You see you all the <laughs> So, for it. It hurts me to do it. Like, I really like the movie. Rewatchability, eh. Yeah. When you rewatch it. Um, because when you were rewatching for, for review purposes, you felt you that noticed. Whole, like. Yeah, you notice stuff. You start, but if you take it for what it is, enjoy that four and a half. Like, <laughs> enjoy that four and a half, man. Four and a half out of ten people, not four and a half out of five. Just to be clear, I, I'm a sport. I'm going to give it a solid. Five and a half. 
let me a whole tell you why. one above mine. Yes, let me tell you why I'm giving it a whole one above yours. The shots, the shots of Maboneng were dope. The shots of the, the apartment design. I listen. The use of color in that movie made me happy. What are we reviewing next week? We don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> we don't know yet. We don't, we don't know. know. It's not a romantic comedy. It is not because we've had complaints already. <laughs> oh, guys, feel free to recommend a movie for us. It has to be an Please. African production, directed by an African, written by an African, yes. starring Africans. Just tell us what you want us to review. Right. Thank you for watching. Cut. <laughs>